So I'll talk to you a little bit about how we're hunting on this trip here. Uh, normally I'm doing a lot of stuff in the back country, but uh, what we're doing on this trip here is we're, we're, we're in an established campground. We're at Hopewell Campground in, uh, in New Mexico. And there's, like you see, it's, it's an established campground. There's a, uh, a corral in the back. But we've got elk country all around us. And so we're just hunting straight from camp. And um, uh, we're going to take the donkeys and, and hike a ways. Uh, there's a couple days we might uh, just leave the donkeys here in camp and, and drive to a spot and get out and hike a little bit and hunt. Uh, but for the most part, we're, we're hunting from a, a, a car camp. And so it's another way you can utilize these, these uh, great pack animals to hunt. Uh, if you don't uh, want to go in the back country, you can also hunt from a, a campground just like we're doing here and it works pretty well. So just another avenue for uh, using these great little pack animals here. I'll try to kill one. Yep, try to kill one. I think we're ready. We're working all these little meadows up on top of this ridge and we've got uh, an extra set of panniers in there so if Mark kills one we can pack it out. Well folks as you can see we've uh, had a successful hunt. Uh, it, it happened last night right at sundown, so I wasn't able to get it on camera, but uh, we thought we'd uh, kind of recap what happened here. You know, we started out this hunt. Um, our plan was to do a little bit of hiking uh, with the donkeys and a little bit of hiking on our own and go get them. And we were doing a lot of that, covering a lot of ground, but what we realized early on was these big open meadows that were easy access to roads were just, were just too, there was too much pressure. Everybody was driving in their vehicles and really had the elk, I think, in, in staying in cover so we kind of had to change our tactics and uh, we found a nice secluded meadow um, yesterday while we we're out on the top of a ridge had a lot of sign and then Mark decided to sit there it was close enough to camp to where the, the plan was I was just going to stay in camp and if I heard a shot then I was going to pack up the donkeys and uh, and and come pack it out that's kind of what what happened yeah, so it worked out perfectly. I was sitting in the meadow and the elk came in right at, right at uh, 5 o'clock and uh, I shot the lead cow. Um, she ran about 40 yards. It was a good clean heart shot. Um, and I, I have an in-reach device. Eric has an in-reach device. He heard the shot, but I also sent him uh, a message on the in-reach said that I got an elk and he loaded up the donkeys and came and got them. And these panniers, you can tell, uh, work really really well. So we've got the elk uh, in the in the panniers A um, Couple of really nice features about these they roll down to the size of a Nalgene bottle so really compact really strong um, But once you unroll them the handles are out here on the sides That's a little different than most panniers that are going to have the, the handles here in the middle And the reason is because if you think about a human he's going to grab or she's going to grab right here So it makes it really easy for a person to pick up and load but the nice thing is once you pick them up and load them onto the pack frame it's going to pull that whole uh, panniered in and it really cinches everything around the meat so once those two panniers are on and balanced you don't have to tie them down or buckle anything else uh, to make that work the other thing that happened is you can see this bag here has uh, the back straps all the neck meat and the tenderloins in it we took this bag set it right on top of the pack frames and then use these straps on both sides to go right over the top and hold that together and that set really set really well on top of the the pannier on or, or on top of the pack frame for the hike back to camp so if you're looking for some really good meat panniers to haul out your elk or your deer mountain ridge gear are the ones to get thanks for the plug mark it was a, it was a good hunt um it was a blast hunting with these two little bill and burrows i tell you it, um yeah, I'd forgotten what it was what it was like just just being able to be on the ground and hiking with them. Um, they're just a blast to be. They're not a minute's trouble, and they packed out the elk just fine. So, um, 
So anyway, folks, uh, if you have a comment you'd like to make down below here, by all means do that. Um, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.